That beat, man. What's up with that beat you got up there? What, uh, are there, are you influenced by any girl musicians? The Slits and uh, ESG. The Static with Glenn Branca and Christine Hahn and Barbara S. Definitely people like the Supremes. And then singers like Betty Harris, Betty Wright, Aretha Franklin, all those women. I, I saw Biz and Twilight play at this party in Olympia. And these uh, people were in this band with this, this guy I knew and they were saying that they look like Barbie dolls that could play instruments, and I thought they were the most incredible band I'd ever seen. Ima Sumak. Ima Sumak. Ima Sumak. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. My favorite vocal. Huh. Okay. Mm. I get a lot of inspiration from Kim Gordon, except that we're so different. <laughs> So, uh, Yoshimi, are, are boys in Japan af afraid of you? Yes, because my drums sound bigger than boy. Young men have a completely different attitude towards you after the show. They come over and they're really sheepish and, and uh, shy, and they often want your autograph, but they they really don't try and come on to you, you know. So, it's a it's like you're no longer a chick, you know. You're a I don't know what you're. You're a performer, and that in their minds makes you special, you know? They just sort of treat me as one of the boys, I think. Mm -hmm. What about you, Julie? <clears throat> I think if they just know me through any band I've been in, that uh, both men and women find me pretty scary. But um, I don't mean to be. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about female performers who use their sexuality to sell their music? Girls buy records by girls if they think that that girl is considered sexy by other by men. Uh, I feel really mad at them. Yeah. I feel like they sell me out. The more um, sexy uh, um, a performer tries to make herself in a conventional way, like Janet Jack Jackson, the more generic she's become. I don't want to criticize any other women performers because I think a lot of them present uh, really strong images alongside their maybe sexy images so it's like it's a really it's a really loaded issue and to, to, to criticize someone for doing something would allow me to have the same rules placed on myself which I don't want. I don't want anyone to tell me how much of my body to show or how little of my body to show. I tried wearing bigger, bigger baggier clothes and stuff like that and like getting my hair shaved short and not being so femmy looking you know with like long hair and earrings and all of that business and, and nothing changed. Do you know what I mean? I still got no matter what. And, but there is one thing that I found is um, wearing pajamas. If you wear pajamas and carry a handbag nobody, nobody messes with me when I do that. So that's one idea but that's pretty sad. Um, the idea that women have to pay attention to what they wear in terms of how they're going to be treated is, is incredibly infuriating, um, especially as we head on towards the 21st century. And half of the time it's encouraged by the, the society we live in. For example, the Florida rape case where the woman was not, was not wearing underwear under her skirt and therefore was raped at knife point and the man was acquitted and he, they, people found that this was okay, that he had a reason and that she deserved it. If I go into a bar in a rough part of town in a bikini, do I deserve to be raped? The answer to that question is obviously and patently no. Do you have any advice for young people in regards to safe sex? I think it would be really a drag to be a teenager now. And, um, you know, because Beavis and Butthead, you know, they're not telling you what to do. Like, they're not telling, they're not talking about safe sex. They've avoided that issue. So you're not getting that, you know, from like the prime role models of the country. You're not giving you that. But, you know, I don't know, I'd take up basket weaving or something and you know, until you feel like you can deal with 
the embarrassment of putting a condom on. If you're having sex for the first time and the guy says, no way, baby, I'm not using a condom, just remember, it's not going to be that good. <laughs> so you might as well use the condom. <laughs> I carry one all the time. I mean, I don't, you know, just because I, I'm, I'm just only interested in my own autonomy and yeah. my own life, you know, my empowerment. I have to take control of everything. I would never leave it down to somebody else. I want to live. I want to live and do something. Go revolution.